My name is Ojo Isaac. I am the manager of Presta Royal Concept, an accounting software training center located in Ikeja, Lagos. In this video, we are going to show you how to post transfer, fund transfer, how to post fund transfer. Let us look at our case study, what we have there. Look at the case study, fund transfers. We have question on fund transfer on uh, the petty cashier, Mr. Wally was reimbursed, that is reimbursement. We also have another one, transfer of cash from GT to UBA in order to pay somebody as his vendor. So, this is, these are examples of fund transfer in accounting in the office, in cash management in your office. So, when it comes to this situation, whereby a higher officer, the MD, or rather the CFO, instructs is subordinate like the accountant or rather the cashier to transfer money from one account to another and also record it in say 50. It, is, it becomes a problem for recording. That they can do very well on paper, but how do you record it in say 50? Most accountants doesn't know this. What they do is by using payment window or payment transaction. It is not. This phone transfer is about transfer from one account to another account of the same company. Transfer does, does not involve a third party. You have account A, you are transferring from account A to account B. That is what it means. Not an expenses like the transfer they do in banks. This is not the banker's transfer. What I'm talking about here is the accountant's transfer. You transfer money from UBA to GT. That is a that is an accountant transfer. The, your cash flow does not increase and it does not decrease. So therefore, you are not making any expenses. So there is no need for you to use a payment window in Sage 50. There is a window that is recommended by Sage 50. And that window is called General Donor Entry, which I'm going to show you how it is done now. Okay. So let's go to Sage 50. This is Sage 50. We click on Task. The Task, as I've told you, is the posting menu. Scroll down to the General Journal Entry. This is the window you use for this kind of posting. Click on it. When you click on General Journal Entry, this window will display. When it displays, you enter the date of this of the transaction. You enter it here. So if it is today, you enter today's date here. Okay. So let's use the example we have here. On the twenty third of January, twenty twenty, the petit cashier, that is Mr. Wally, was reimbursed with UBA check number so 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 so. And the amount is 50000 Very simple. It means that office cash was reimbursed. Money was moved from the bank to office cash. So, therefore, office cash, cash is receiving what bank is giving. When you, when you apply the debit and credit principles in accounting, the golden uh, principles in accounting, it simply means you debit the what? The receiver and creditor, the giver. That is what we are going to apply here now. So let us enter the reference before we apply that. Okay? Reference check number UBA 909773333. Okay, so let's look at that again. Let me look at that again. 
uh, I can change it to because it look as if that will be used. Okay. Four four. Okay. So let's do that. Okay. So the reference is already there. That's the reference number. So Jonah already. Many of you, if you're an accountant, you should know the usage, usage of a journal in accounting, like uh, to correct errors and one or the other things. Okay, so this is the procedure. Under the GL account, you click on the drop down there, which is the mirror here. So when you click on the mirror, you will see all the ledgers that you have created, all the ledgers you have been using to post this morning. Especially the cash book ledgers, the cash ledgers. So we have a lot of them here. We have cash book, cash on hand, petty cash, UBA, and Zealand Bank GT. So, with regards to this question, what are you going to do? Which account is receiving and which account is giving? The account that is receiving here is petty cash. You select petty cash. You now say, Petit cash reimbursement. That is the description. Petit cash reimbursement. So you press the top key. You go to the next next button. Sorry, the next uh, tab, which is the debit column. The next Column is what? Debit column, 50,000. Enter it there. 50,000. Then press your tab key. Do not record it on the same roll. Do not record the next amount, which is the credit amount, on the same roll. Because, say 50, we don't recognize this. You press your tab key to the next row. Now, when you have done that, the same way, the same ledger, if you know how to use ledger when you are in your office or rather in the, those days when you were in year one, year two, the same method. This is how we use ledger. This is how we record ledger at that time. We post it. So the next one is the account that is given, which is uh, what? UBA. You select UBA. This is the, the bank account that is given, that is given this particular cash account money to spend. So you enter 50,000, 50,000, press your tab key. So with this, you will be able to post very well. Then when you have done that, check your out of balance amount. Is there any amount that is making it not to balance? So if the two columns are not in the same amount, the remaining amount will be out of balance. Please make sure you check that before you post finally. So this is the recommended method on how to post fund transfer in Sage 50. So let's click on save. Save. So that this is how to post fund transfer. Please share and like and subscribe to this.